when the hounds of spring chorus from atlanta in caledon when the hounds of spring are on winter's traces the mother of months in meadow or plain fills the shadows and the windy places with lisp of leaves and ripple of rain and the brown bright nightingale amorous is half assuaged for Italus, for the Thracian ships and the foreign faces, the tongueless vigil and all the pain. Come with bow, bows bent and with emptying of quivers, maiden most perfect, lady of light, with a noise of winds and many rivers, with a clamour of waters and with might. Bind on thy sandals, O thou most fleet, over the splendour and speed of thy feet. For the faint east quickens, the wan west shivers, round the feet of the day and the feet of the night. Where shall we find her? How shall we sing to her? Fold our hands round her knees and cling, Oh, that man's heart were as fire and could spring to her, fire, or the strength of the stream, streams that spring. For the stars and the winds are unto her as raiment, as songs of the harp player. For the risen stars and the fallen cling to her, and the southwest wind and the west wind sing. For winter's rains and ruins are over, and all the season of snows and sins, the days dividing lover and lover, the light that loses, the night that wins, and time remembered is grief forgotten, and frosts are slain and flowers forgotten, begotten, and in green underwood and cover blossom by blossom the spring begins the full streams feed on flower of rushes ripe grasses trammel a traveling foot the faint fresh flame of the young year flushes from leaf to flower and flower to fruit and fruit and leaf are as gold as fire and the oat is heard above the lyre and the hoofed heel of a satyr crushes the chestnut husk at the chestnut root and pan by night and bacchus by pan by noon and bacchus by night fleeter of foot than the fleet foot kid follows with dancing and fills with delight the manhead and the bassarid and soft as lips that laugh and hide the laughing leaves of the trees divide and screen from seeing and leave in sight the gods pursuing the maidenhead the ivy falls with the bacchanal's hair over her eyebrows hiding her eyes the wild vine slipping down leaves bare her bright breast shortening into size the wild vine slips with the weight of its leaves but the buried ivy catches and cleaves to the limbs that glitter the feats that scar, that scare the wolf that follows, the fawn that flies. <laughs>